News is the investigation into the shooting. Police say the plainclothes officer was sitting in his car when the suspect came up to him and then pulled the trigger. Action News reporter Maggie Kent covering this for us live now from the scene. Maggie. Yes, yeah, sorry, and Rick, we're on the 4300 block of North Clarissa, and I want to show you what's happening now. We've got the uh, the police involved, officer involved shooting investigation team here, as well as crime scene. They're investigating the discharge of the officer's weapon and, of course, still searching for the shooter. But as you look at it right now, I see 11 evidence markers here marking bullet casings. Bullet holes in the hood, a shattered back window. This vehicle is believed to be that of a plainclothes narcotics officer. Investigators say he was sitting in the car when he was shot at and quickly returned fire with a service weapon, which sent the suspect running off and led to SWAT teams fanning out in the area of the 4100 block of Germantown Avenue. Nervous parents picked up their children from a nearby daycare and a large section of Tioga Nice Town was shut down in search of the shooter. Bullet casings marked by chalk indicate the spot where that shooting started. Police say the officer was initially in the area of the 4300 block of North Clarissa Street during a narcotics investigation. Someone who was the focus or someone of interest in that investigation approached the, the narcotics officer and opened fire. That's where you see the, the rounds behind me. The officer from his car did in fact return fire and at this point we don't know if the discharge by the police officer actually struck anyone. When asked if the shooter knew if he was aiming at a police officer despite his undercover appearance. The officer was in plain clothes and in an unmarked car and this person singled him out to fire on him. So you can draw whatever inference you need to draw from that. We know the officer was not injured in the shooting. And here live, they're still processing the initial shooting scene as a large part of this neighborhood is still locked down. SWAT and police officers still searching for the person who opened fire at this undercover police officer. They're also in touch with the local hospitals to ensure that nobody showed up there with a gunshot wound that fits that description. We're live in Tioga, Nice Town, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. I